Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today I'm reviewing something a little different in the world of live music shows. How so? Well, aside from the usual things like a venue, Taverno Costera, a show put on by Nevermore Productions, the bands, so many bands, and the crowd, such a great crowd, this one also had comic books. What? Yeah, I was as surprised as you. I've already done videos about Taverna Costera, so let's get right to the show, okay? Opening up the show was Robert Stokes, friend of the channel and soon to be interviewed. Decked out in his trademark Hawaiian shirt and sticker festooned guitar, Robert warmed up the crowd with some humor and some great songwriting. If you get the chance to catch Robert, whether alone or with his band, you should definitely check him out. The next act was another friend of the channel, Hal Savar, and his band. I hadn't heard Hal with his full band before, and they lit up the joint. The five-piece quickly moved through some of Hal's repertoire with an efficiency born from lots of practice and shows. I thought I knew what a Hal Savar show was like with just him, but this was a whole nother level. Next up to bat was yet another friend of the channel, Scotty Dub. Scotty was joined on stage by his bassist Rashawn as they proceeded to bring the chill party vibes they always do. Scotty also hosts an acoustic night on uh, Fridays at Chiba Hut on Rainbow and Sahara. If you're in the area, you should swing by for some dank subs and awesome music. Taking things to another level, I hope it's not a water level, I hate those. Decaying Tigers took the stage next with their unique brand of 8-bit chiptune synth rock. They lit up the stage and the crowd loved their set. Best part? They made music with Game Boys. Let me repeat that. They made music with freaking Game Boy! After the Tigers got done ramping the place up to a fever pitch, the maybe four had the unenviable task of following them. Fortunately, the entire band is made up of pros. With the exception of Chris Dunn, every member of the band has been on the channel. I'm hoping to rectify that with Chris Dunn very soon. Are you listening, Chris? One thing that makes the maybe four different than most acts is that they are all songwriters in their own right and can each play each other's music. It's like getting four shows in one. Finishing out the night in a slightly louder fashion, Algorithm let the neighborhood know the show wasn't quite over yet. Blending the blues with hard rock and a little punk influence, the band made everyone there glad they stuck around. Like every other act of the night, they were different than everyone else, and it was a good thing. Overall, Comics and Music Night at Taverna Costera was awesome and different and reminded me what makes the local scene so great. People willing to try new things and support local art, which is up there. I do hope that there's another one soon. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that you'll check out the artists I mentioned. I've got their uh, social media pages uh, listed in the description. Hope you'll swing by to Verna Costera if you're in the area. And you know what? I hope that you'll reach out to me to let me know what other shows I should go check out or what other bands I should review or interview. If you're one of those bands or musicians, hit me up using the social media link. In the meantime, please consider becoming a Patreon patron. Uh, I've got some patron-only content. Uh, somewhere I've got the, uh, the link. And also, how about, I don't know, buy some merch. Show everybody that you support Room 6 and that you support the local music scene. Um, other than that, if you want to uh, see more videos like this, please click up here. If you'd like to subscribe, I really would appreciate it. Please click down there and don't forget to ring the bell. Uh, remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.